Hey, what's up, beautiful family? I hope y'all are having a good afternoon. So I wanted to come on here and share something with y'all today. Um, there's actually a lot of things that I want to kind of cover with y'all, but I can't get it all in one video. So expect some more videos to come out. Um, but there is one thing that I wanted to show y'all today. Now, I had seen this guy's face maybe a few months ago, but I didn't really think anything of it just because there wasn't a whole lot of talk around this guy. I mean, there was, but it wasn't anything really significant. Um, but this guy's blowing up now. So I don't know if y'all have seen, but um, the Jews believe that they have found their Messiah. And this guy is throwing these Jews into a whirlwind. Like they think this is the guy like they think this is the messiah um they are claiming that he has so much knowledge in the torah unlike anyone and so they're all going to him for for knowledge and understanding like they really think that this is the son of god i'm not playing with y'all um we knew we knew we know <laughs> that Jesus already said that this would happen in the end days in fact he says it multiple times in the word and really quick before I show y'all actual footage okay of what this guy is doing over there um, I just want to read to you guys really quick just one passage where Jesus talks about false messiahs um, coming on the scene and deceiving many okay so in Mark chapter 13 it says in verse 1 and as he went out of the temple, one, is, one of his disciples said unto him, Master, see what uh, manner of stones and what buildings are here. And Jesus answered, saying unto him, Seest thou these great buildings? There shall not be one stone left upon another that shall not be thrown down. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives over against the temple, Peter and James and John and Andrew asked him privately, Tell us when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign when all these things shall be fulfilled? So talking about the end. And Jesus answered um, and began to say, Take heed that no man deceives you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And we and when you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, be not troubled, for such things must take place, but the end is not yet. Then he goes into, um, you know, nation will, will rise against nation, um, earthquakes in diverse, place, uh, diverse places, um, famines, troubles. He said all of these things are the beginning of sorrows. Um, and so this is obviously not the only place in Mark. It, uh, it talks about it in Matthew. Um, and there are many other places in the word where Jesus talks about false Christs coming on um, on the scene and showing um, lies and, um, you know, these false wonders, right? False wonders and lies and all these things, right? And just deceiving many people into believing that this person is, in fact, the Messiah, right? Um, so false um, signs and wonders. And when I saw this video today actually over on TikTok I was like look at this and I had seen like it's it's really the talks right now everybody is really in an uproar um because he is performing false signs and wonders like lying wonders and um and so you know there was this one guy that I, you know, listened to on TikTok and he's like, I'm a videographer. He's like, this is definitely not edited. Um, this is actually something that he is probably doing by the power of Satan himself. Now, um, I just want to make a disclaimer here. I do not believe that this guy is the, um, antichrist spoken about in the Bible. Um, you guys know I'm a firm believer in a pre-tribulation rapture. That is a whole nother topic, a whole nother video. Like I, I could go hours into that. Um, but I believe that the rapture is going to happen first before the tribulation. Um, I believe the restrainer is restraining, um, the antichrist from coming on the scene and obviously all hell breaking loose. I believe that what we are seeing right now is exactly what Jesus said would happen. Many um, false Christs coming on the scene and that absolutely can happen before 
um, the tribulation because when the tribulation starts, um, then the actual Antichrist spoken about in Revelation is going to come on the scene. That will actually be the man that Jesus speaks about in the Word. And so the first clip I'm going to show you is um, is a clip of him just basically out on the streets trying to get into a car. And everybody is just like hurtled around him, freaking out because they think this is the man like, oh, our Messiah is here. Take a look at this. so now I want to show you um, a clip of all of these Jews around a fire now there's some kind of I don't know it was some kind of event and I can't remember what they said it was some kind of event that was going on but I want you to notice and I have broken up the clip so you're gonna see it one time and then you're gonna see it happen again but it's kind of it's gonna be slowed down so you can really pay attention and actually see what is coming up out of this fire and, um, you know, I know there are a lot of things that kind of surface around on the web and um, people edit things and things like that. But this is actual footage from that night that has not been edited. And I hands down um, definitely believe that this is something by the power of Satan um, that is is taking place with this guy somehow to deceive these Jews into believing that this is the Messiah. Anything that the enemy can do to deceive people, he's going to do. Um, so I don't know what is going on here, but it's absolute um, blasphemy and, and witchcraft at its finest. Um, and so, yeah, I want you guys to go ahead and take a look at this. <laughs> believe that this is something that is like demonic happening um, is because apparently and another reason why they actually believe that this is the true Messiah is because he's he's um, doing miracles quote unquote now these are not miracles from God and these are not like these are not actual miracles okay anything that this guy is supposedly doing that these people are falling for is absolutely demonic um, and 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 Satan is behind it and so um, I wanted to show this to you um, and make you guys aware of this because I want you to really see how Jesus prophesied in his word so long ago that you know he he gave us the things to look out for right um, because when James and John and Andrew um, and Peter were up there and asked him, okay, well, well, what would all of these signs be like? What is going to happen? Well, clearly he was not answering to them, you know, for them to know for their time, because clearly, you know, here we are and we are seeing these things now. This truly is for us to be able to know that we are the generation that is going to get to go home and be with him. 
because we we know in in Thessalonians um you know Jesus talks about the rapture and he says that for the time and season brethren you have no need that I write to you because you will know perfectly why because we're children of the light we have the Holy Spirit residing inside of us we have the word right he gave us all of the things to look out for to know that we are in the end times and what is so amazing to me is is that we see all these things happening famines earthquakes in diverse places nation literally rising against nation i mean there's more talks right now of nuclear war than there has been in so long i mean every single country is is at each other's throats absolutely um and you know false christ you know we see with this guy now giving these lying signs and wonders making them believe that he's the actual messiah um also Neuralink and how elon is trying to put a chip in people's brain next year right um we see all of these futuristic things that they are trying to work towards right um uh, immortality right um really trying to to really push it right and and just going places where they have no business going um seeing how we are being pushed into a, a digital currency here very soon and how cash is absolutely um dwindling down I, I have noticed that at a lot of banks and a lot of different places are saying cash is not available i saw one sign that um money was or currency was not even being produced at one time um, there's so many things that I really just believe that we are truly seeing, um, everything just kind of converge to the perfect storm and the beast system absolutely is rising. We see how rights are being taken away. Um, this once was a free country and now we see that dwindling away and just being taken from our hands. Um, and so it's it's just astonishing and especially when i think about back when i was a kid right when i was 10 years old and the lord showed me the rapture of the church before i ever even knew what it was and just not, not even knowing about it in the word but just knowing that like that was event that was going to take place and i was going to get to be a part of that at some point just at the simple fact that jesus showed me and so you know, I carried that for a really long time. And again, like what is just so amazing to me is just to see how all of these things truly are lining up so perfectly. And it's like what he showed me all that time ago is almost just like we can see that it's so very soon and we truly are the generation. And you guys know, I, I preach this all the time that Jesus is a good God and a faithful God and a God that does not let us down or, or toggle with our emotions. So when he shows us something, we absolutely can count on it. Jesus would never show you something if it were not so. And the fact that not only did I see the rapture happening, but I too was being raptured. It just wasn't time yet then. That was 22 years ago. And here we are seeing all these things happen now. And it's just, I see his faithfulness. Um, and it's such a beautiful thing because, you know, after waiting what feels like for so long, like seeing that happen 22 years ago, knowing it was going to take place, yearning for that, wanting to be with my father. Um, it just is a whirlwind of emotions. I'm sad for the people that are unsaved. I'm, I'm sad for people who are going to wake up one day and their children are going to be gone. Um, I'm sad for the unbelievers that are going to have to go through the tribulation when they have a way out. They have an escape now. Jesus made a way out of, it, of, the, of the tribulation. Not only did he make a way out of hell, right? He gave us eternal life through his son um, by belief, by our faith. But he also made a way out so that we don't have to be beheaded in the tribulation for not taking this mark in our right hand or our forehead. Um these things are converging and if you're listening to this message right now and you're not saved it's time to get saved it's time to truly think about yourself and to put the pride down and say you know what I really need to figure out what the truth is here because I'm telling you right now that the truth is is that Jesus loves you he died for you uh, 
so that you could have eternal life in heaven with him. And it's not by your works. Um, nobody's going to get to the gates and say, well, here I am, God. Look at all the all these wonderful things that I did for you. You're going to let me in now? Um, you know, there's going to be many that stand before his before him and they're going to say, depart from me, you workers of iniquity. I never knew you. Um, Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to me uh, or comes to the Father but through me. And that it's by belief alone. He says, whoever believes in me shall not perish but have everlasting life. And if you are putting your faith and your hope in anything other than Jesus Christ, I sincerely, sincerely, sincerely pray that you will believe on him for your salvation right now. There is barely any time left. Look at the world around us. Um, I think the things that are converging right now, all the things that are coming out in the media, all the things that even are coming out with, you know, the Balenciaga scandal, I really think that God is allowing all of these things so that the last few believers who he knows is going to believe on him before the rapture of the church will come to him. Um, he's so merciful and he never came to the world to condemn it, but to save it. And so that is why the trumpet has not sounded yet, but there is an appointed time and it is coming on fast and we can see it because again, we are children of the light and there are so many people that are asleep right now. Um, but I just know that the things that have been happening, God again has allowed it so that people's eyes can be open and and realize that this world truly is evil and it's wicked and it's ran by Satan and the only way out of death, hell, death, and the grave and this disgusting world is Jesus Christ. All right. So I love you guys so much. I just wanted to share that with you today. Keep looking up. Jesus is coming. I will be back on soon to share more with y'all. All right. I love y'all. Talk to y'all soon.